Good morning, and welcome to a special episode of Kid News. It's Monday, May 27th, 2024, Memorial Day in the United States, which is widely regarded as the nation's unofficial kickoff to summer. But much more important is its original intent, to reflect and remember those who died while serving in the U.S. military. The observation dates back to the Civil War, which took the lives of more than 600,000 soldiers between 1861 and 1865. In May of 1868, three years after it ended, veterans organized a Decoration Day and called on all Americans to decorate war graves. That was the first national observance. Locally, it began even earlier. Waterloo, New York, basically shut itself down on May 5, 1866, so the entire town could honor the fallen. Businesses closed and town residents dotted cemeteries with flags and flowers. In 1966, President Lyndon B. Johnson declared Waterloo the birthplace of Memorial Day. But it took until 1971 for Congress to designate the day an official federal holiday and settle on the last Monday in May for all tributes. For some, making the remembrance part of a three-day weekend watered down its focus on war sacrifice. By 1972, Time magazine said the holiday had become a three-day nationwide hootenanny that seems to have lost much of its original purpose. These days, Memorial Day is decidedly a mix. Many Americans still pause to pay respects, visit cemeteries, or participate in parades, the largest of which take place in Chicago, New York, and Washington, D.C. Others show their respect by flying the red, white, and blue. According to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, on Memorial Day, the American flag should be flown at half-staff from sunrise until noon only, then raised briskly to the top of the staff until sunset, in honor of the nation's battle heroes. A more recent tribute was added in the late 1990s. As the story goes, Today.com reports, a group of kids was asked what Memorial Day meant when they answered, that's the day the pools open. Then President Clinton decided to create a national moment of remembrance to be observed at 3 p.m. as an annual reminder of the holiday's real meaning. Every Memorial Day, there's also a wreath-laying ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. And then there's TAPS. The haunting bugle call dates back to the early days of the Civil War, when Union General Daniel Butterfield wanted a new lights-out melody to close the military day. It soon became the nation's official bugle call and is often sounded on Memorial Day. For many others, today isn't somber at all. Rather, it's part of a long weekend time just right to celebrate the end of school and the beginning of summer with barbecues, road trips, and pool parties. Jason Redman, a retired Navy SEAL who fought in Iraq and Afghanistan, told the Associated Press he's good with both. He wants Americans to remember the fallen, but also to enjoy themselves, knowing lives were sacrificed to forge the holiday. That sounds like good advice. Keep hold of the true meaning, but have fun with family and friends. And we'll see you back here for a fresh episode of Kid News tomorrow morning.